going to talk about chemical modification. And chemical modification involves the reaction between a chemical and the wood itself so that you get a bond, a covalent chemical bond between that modifying agent and the wood. And at the present time, the only process that involves a chemical modification of wood is acetylation, although there is some argument that furfurylation of wood, the process that makes kebony, also involves chemical modification. Uh, but we can leave that for the next lecture. So acetylated wood um, makes the product a coir, which is on the market. This is an advertisement for a coir. It just happens to be the only one available at the moment. And acetylation involves uh, the reaction between acetic and hydride, which has this structure, and wood. And wood is far too complicated to write down the chemical structure, so we just call it wood, and it's a reaction between the hydroxyl groups of the wood and acetic anhydride. Some people think it's a reaction with acetic acid, but it isn't, it's the anhydride. And that reaction takes place, well, in the laboratory, we normally do it at about 120 degrees centigrade. I have no idea what temperature they do it at at the uh, Akoya plant. That leads to acetylated wood, so the wood hydroxyls have been acetylated to form what is called an ester. And there's a byproduct from the reaction which is acetic acid, which smells of vinegar. And after this reaction, they strip the acetic acid out of the wood by using a top secret process. Uh, and that leaves the acetylated wood, hopefully with no acetic acid, or residual acetic acid in it, because that would give it a vinegary smell. Um, acetylated wood, quite often, if you smell it, does have a very slight odour of vinegar associated with it. Um, this acetylated wood is basically mimicking what nature does. Um, nature naturally acetylates the hemicelluloses to some degree. Um, in some species, that might be up to a level of 2 to 3% by mass, which is quite a large number um, to have natural acetylated wood. Uh, but in this process, in this uh, technological process, we usually go up to a weight percent gain, which is a weight gain of 20% or more in order to get the biological durability that's required.